Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at what you should spend your anniversary coins on. So a very very quick video. Uh, the anniversary coins you can get them from missions for the anniversary, uh, login rewards for the anniversary. They also are going to be handing them out for social media campaigns etc. Uh, but basically these are what you can get with the anniversary coins. You can get Kai's, you can get old celebration units, you can get hidden potential orbs, you can get training items, awakening items, reversal medals, uh, hidden potential orbs, meat, zeni. You can get a ton of stuff with these coins and I'm going to basically just let you guys know what I'm going to be getting uh, and what I think you should be getting uh, and what you should prioritize because you're not going to have coins to get everything here. Uh, so Basically, I think, yeah, we will see how everything goes. But essentially, uh, so in terms of priority, I think the Kai's. Kai's are always number one on my list. I myself, as a free-to-play player, or or pretty much free-to-play player, I did, I did indeed uh, buy some stones back in the day. Uh, I think Kai's are the most important. Unless you have stones to summon on Kai banners, Generally, you're always going to run out of Kai's, especially if you're awakening a lot of new units, especially if you're a new player who's looking to obviously raise the SA level of units to really make them more impactful. Kai's are going to be your first priority. You should be able to get every single Kai. Uh, and then after the Kai's, I would say your next priority is going to be the hidden potential orbs. The hidden potential orbs, another resource that most players run out of, especially new players. You can never have enough of them, especially if you are rainbowing a ton of free-to-play units like myself. Over time, you will build up a bit of storage of hidden potential orbs. Uh, and I think, you know, like, for the most part, I think you 100% can maybe skip them if you are someone who's got a bunch of hidden... If you played the game for a while, if you're a veteran player, you can consider skipping hidden potential orbs, although I would always pick them up. But you can consider kind of skipping them. Zenny could definitely be useful. 100% Zenny is something that's quite useful for the team. Support items, I wouldn't suggest getting at all. As you can see, I have tons of support items, so I do not, do not suggest picking up support items. They're not going to be something that's valuable to you. And Awakening Medals, as much as you may need them, especially if you're a new player, Rather get them through other means or farm for them uh, as you're going to have plenty in due time and using your anniversary coins on those instead of using them on Kai's or Hidden Potential Orbs isn't suggested. Now I would suggest the Incredible Hourglass Medal. Uh, it is something that's quite expensive in terms of bubble points. If you don't have a lot of bubble points it is something that you, you know, can't really get that easily. Uh, Meat, also a pretty solid option, does give you a decent amount of stamina, uh, and that stamina can help you complete events. Although, honestly speaking, I would definitely prioritize some other things over the meat, uh, especially if you're a veteran player, you probably have quite a bit of meat stored up. Uh, collecting the previous celebration characters, so none of these celebration characters are really that great. Um, realistically speaking, they're not something that I would say inspires me with great confidence like you're not gonna buy them and have them like be a super rad performer or use them on any team really speaking uh, but you can grab them uh, if you want to if you're a collector it's always nice to obviously fill out the collection and grab these units but definitely the Kai's uh, are the priority but that's gonna be it for me guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and i'll see you in the next one until then take care stay safe and as always see you guys next time but thank you so much for watching and good luck with all your summons and all of the anniversary content bye